thank you so much to the channel members that are supporting the channel. If you guys want to support the channel yourselves, you can start with as little as 99 cents a month. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Crafty Simmer, and we are back with another episode of the Runaway Teen Challenge. So, who was going to tell me this? Who was going to tell me that she was pregnant? I didn't know. I didn't even get the notification. It just kind of popped up and it happened. So that's where we're at right now. Anyways, we do seem to have our, our stuff here ready to go. So we are going to go ahead here and harvest our, harvest our beautiful stuff. Harvest all. That is our, that is the boy toy. So we are going to invite him in. I don't even know you, sir. But hopefully though, that now means that, yes, we have enough. We have enough to actually put into our bowls. I mean, into our, into our jars. And in about 42 hours... We should, well, in about 48 hours, we should have our own brand of our own stuff. Our own stuff, yes. Yes, sir. Oh, no, he's not happy about the whole thing. But we are going to nurture. Like, he will, he will take some time to warm up to the idea. So, I mean, there is that. And I mean, yeah, so basically what we're going to do is that we are going to ask him to accompany our childbirth. Um, we are also as well going to start booking our stuff. So that way we can be ready for it because it's going to go down real dang fast. But after, of course, she nurtures the, um, the insects. And today, too, our, gir our our little girl went off to preschool. So now, so now she can actually, you know, have something of like a more, a nicer environment, let's say. However, though, let's go ahead. Let's fill up this bowl here. We are just waiting for this to be ready to go. Let's go ahead and let's ask him to accompany our birth. Because, yeah, I wasn't aware that she was expecting. Um, until, like, quite literally while I was sitting here. And it just, it just, it just, it's what, it's what happened. Um... We are going to try to reassure about the pregnancy and stuff. I mean, she really wasn't expecting this to happen twice already, but here we are. This is, I guess this is what happens though when you don't use protection. And I mean, like, she's kind of neutral on the whole thing now, but I think though that's because she has actually kind of been through it once. Um, so basically, she wants to offer to go to counseling. Like, essentially, like, she wants him to feel comfortable with this as much as she is. Because, I mean, like, she's kind of accepted it now that she's done it twice. Well, now that she's going through it a second time. <sighs> We're just going to hire the nanny. We got our bills. Oh man. I just realized I can't do this during the day while Lizette's at at the at, at, at her program. Um 
Oh, man. Because, like, she isn't really here. I'm just paying for a nanny. That just kind of vibes here. Doesn't really do anything. Just here to exist. Anyways, we're going to dismiss him. And basically, yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. And then, of course, we're going to have to go pay the bills, too. Because, yeah. She has to pay $13 in, in bills. Okay, you can come over to, to get to get your um to get your stuff. Um, not right now, because I am trying because I am selling something right now. So let's solve Luna's cycle really fast. And then let's go ahead here and let's quickly sell it to her. Real dang fast. It also doesn't help too that now she's addicted to nicotine. So there is that too. Anyways though, I feel like... I'm kind of feeling like we should make, like, a bigger sale today. Oh no, we can't even... Okay, so then let's sell this, the, the bigger bag. Like, the more... The more pricier bag, I guess, is the term I'm looking for. Because now that she's done that... She is now going to, uh, just kind of vibe and relax. <laughs> Looks like Lizette's back home now. Now that we actually have money, I should probably go buy her a potty chair, if I'm being perfectly honest. She's gonna need it to go potty. Helpful enough. Decorated. Good listener. Growing up so fast. And then she is going to go ahead here and have herself a cigarette because she is feeling very, very stressed out. I know that she is pregnant and necessarily this really isn't the best thing for it, but she really doesn't... She... She's more or less thinking for herself right now in which, like, it'll make her feel better, so that's kind of where she is. Like, she's not really thinking... Like, she's just thinking, you know what? This will make me feel better. So I'm gonna do it, because this helps. However, though, it does carry a few risks. So there is that, too, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it being, um... I'm okay with there being a risk to her... to her... to her choices. Oh, no. But, yeah, like, she's basically not about this life like she really isn't honestly i am pretty sure that if she didn't end up in the situation that she is in right now she wouldn't be in this situation like she would have had the choice to avoid like she would have had the voice like she would have had the choice but unfortunately she didn't she didn't think to she didn't really think that well and um and now here we are. And I guess, too, when she calls to meal, it does kind of counteract Lizette's behaviors. So that's not good. So good to know that now. I was hoping that maybe since, like, the food's, like, right there, she would be able to reach it and just grab it. But I guess that's not the- I guess that's not the case. But that's okay. Anyways, though, let's see here. Not right now, because we are here. We are taking care of our child. That he really doesn't want anything to do with. So, you know, it's... Well, at least he doesn't want anything to do with for now. I'm hoping, though, that as things kind of progress, though, he does change his mind. And he does eventually warm up to the idea. That, like... Yeah, it's not that, like, it's not the worst possible thing that can happen to us. 
you know, like, it just, like, there can be worse things. There can be so many worse things. Um, we're just gonna nurture, uh, nurture them again. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in the trash here. Clean up after ourselves. She's gonna nurture up our, she's gonna love up our, uh, our bugs. Can you go potty by yourself yet? Yeah, you can't. Okay, cool. But you can go and play with a toy. Go play with Teresa the stair the uh the triceratops. While your mother takes care of her uh of her little bugs. And then we can go and collect biofuel. Then she can have her baked potato. I really want them to be, like, thriving as we collect this stuff for them. Alrighty, there we go. We got some biofuel. About $40. But I do plan on investing into something that will... Well, investing into something that will allow us to get, like, electrical stuff. So that's the plan with that. Anyway, she is going to finish eating really fast. How is Missy looking over here? She's looking pretty okay. Maybe at most... Maybe at most... We'll have to, um... Like, we'll send her home. And then... And then we ourselves... Oh, no. No, you're not going to nap quite yet, because you still have to do things. So you can go use the toilet. Then you're going to try to potty train Lizette a little bit. I'm wondering how big she's going to get once her second trimester kicks in. I just I wasn't anticipating her on being pregnant again, but yet here we are. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I mean, she is just, she's all about that life, apparently. And now we gotta cancel out this thingy, my bopper. We're gonna go potty train Lizette really fast. And then we are going to have to clean up our dog here, too, very, very soon. Just hasn't gotten to that point quite yet. We're like we're really focusing on getting our household care needs being met. Like the dog needs a bath too. It's a whole thing. I think even has fleas now. Well, I guess she, cause she is a girl. She's female, but like though. Well, let's just finish up here, get them into the bath. We'll get the toddler to go to the bathroom, and then we can go give Lizette a bath. Well, I mean, then we can go give the dog a bath. Maybe I'm just going to boost her, her need just a wee bit, so that way she's not completely exhausted. And then she can finish up what she's doing. Because I know that potty training takes forever with these toddlers. Like, like, like they do this whole, like, sitting here for, like, ever and ever and ever. And then they decide right here, right now, to go and do it. There we go. Anyway, she is going to give Duchess a bath. Oh, there's the second trimester. Look at that baby bump. What a cute little baby bump. And now we can go and give Duchess a bath. Like, this is, like, this is basically kind of what our day looks like in this household here. I'm hoping, though, soon, like, we can actually get this whole thing going. And, um, yeah. 
Anyway, she's giving her dog a bath now because she's getting stanky, and I mean, it's just been chaos. Like, it's, like, it's been really hard to kind of keep everyone's needs afloat, and I mean, now that, like, she's about to become a mother to two, like, she's gonna have two kids running around here. So there is that thought, too, that we'll have to think about. But she is giving him a bath right now, so that way he's not driving me crazy. And then she can go and put Lizette to bed. When she's done. And then she can actually go and take her own bath. And then she can probably self-woohoo, and then she can crash for the night, which will probably wrap up our... Our little thing for the day as well. Anyways, Lizette seems... I mean, anyways. Kaylin seems almost done to with her dog, Duchess. And now that that's all done, she can go and actually go and take the kid and put, and put her to bed. Like, this... Like, I'm not... This is actually the first time we really stayed home since Lizette's been born. So... Like... There is that, too, that, like, yeah, like, like, we could have been here, like we, like, we could have been done a little bit faster. But here we are, though. Now we're here. And then we're probably gonna water these plants before we go to bed. Who is at the door now? I don't want you here. Please go away. Anyways, though, now she is taking a quick little, a brief little bath here. Uh, let's see here. She is, as the baby grows within her, Kaylin is prepared for all that that, that, that this newcomer will entail. I can't even read the whole thing. It keeps fading on me so fast. But I guess, though, she is, like, she's at least feeling neutral to being pregnant, which, I mean, I guess once you kind of realize that, like, that, like, she could do it. It kind of helped her feel more at peace with what happened. And, I mean, I feel like I've already said this, but, like, that's just how I feel, though. Like, I feel like that it definitely helped her out a lot with just kind of realizing what she can do for herself. And now she's going to go ahead here and finish her, uh... Kind of let herself finish off here with a little self woohoo. Anyways, though, we're probably gonna wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And in the next part, these things will probably be done curing, maybe. Maybe not, though. Anyways, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>